All right, guys, welcome back. All right, so I've grinded my way to level six, so we can now do the um, the mission, the strike mission level six. Before we do that, though, I've just noticed this: the moon has popped up on the um, the global, you know, destination map. And it's got a mission up here. Up here, it's got locked, and it says requirements not met. It's level six. I am level six, but if you click on it, it tells you the destiny launch coming soon, activity unavailable. You know, see you at the release of the full game. So, I don't know why it's here in the beta. Maybe it's just letting us know what the next lot of content's going to be, which is the moon. So, um, I don't think this is going to be available in the beta. I'll keep an eye on it, keep checking on it, see if it does actually unlock, and I will make a video about it. But we can't access that right now, so we're going to have to do um, the Devil's Lair. So, let's jump in this. Let's see what this, um, what they call it, strike. Let's see what the strike's all about. See how much difference it is compared to the beat the the alpha. Well, the fallen will continue to claw at the walls of our city unless we strike them down. Beneath the ruins of the Cosmodrome, in the shadow of an old colony ship, we've located the House of Devil's Lair and the High Civitor, feeding them their strength. We must destroy this machine god and send their souls screaming back to hell. Okay, so this is the team. Um mission there are three of us now actually compared to the alpha in the alpha you started um indoors this right now we're outside there's four of us on the map actually as well well that's meant to be only three players maybe that guy's on the map further away doing something else that's not part of this mission so even though this is level six it's actually got level eight mobs which is kind of strange level nine as well this guy this guy's jumped right in there and got himself killed. Let's get that power melee attack in. Just got damage, so it's worth using. Alright, so we are heading over there. Looks like we got someone throwing purple balls of light at us there. Right, I hope these guys know what they're doing, because I have no, no idea. I'm guessing we're going to start outside it like we have, and we're going to make our way inside, and that's what's going to continue the way the alpha was. But this is just like an extended part of it, reach the actual objective before you start it. Okay, we've got to fight our way into the lair. The devil's lair, this mission is. I think it's the real devil. Horny devil. Alright, so if you die in here, you have to respawn outside. So, you said that there's the fallen and hive. So it looks like the fallen and the hive. Are enemies of each other, and they're both enemies to us. I thought it was just Fallen in this, but it looks like Hive as well. I think Hive must be more like the zombie ones that charge you. The melee attacking um, mobs. Just um, picked up a weapon engram there. We can't actually look at it though until we get back to the tower. These guys are just running around like headless chickens. There's the mission over there. Take back the refinery. Okay. There's a wizard down there. Let's throw a grenade over there. Oh, I think the wizard moved, didn't he? Oh, there's loads over there. Pop some headshots from distance. I'd like some of the defensive abilities as well, you know, as the Titan. I think you get, like, an ability where it's a big orb, a big bubble that you put around yourself and the rest of your... Um, teammates. I think inside now as well, now that we're actually inside the instance, these are all level 6. Yeah, they are. That's what the level requirement is for this mission. Because we were outside, like, that was just the level 8 area, generally outside, but now we're actually inside the instance. They are the level the mission is meant to be. What are they? Are they mines or something? I'm going to stay away from them. Okay. Great. The way out of here is sealed. Yeah, so this is this is the bit where you started in the alpha. The ghost now has to decode these laser beams using this um, terminal here. So he's jumping on the thing there. The ghost is hacking into it, and there's I think three phases. Pretty complex. I'll need time. The three waves of enemies that come through right now. God, these shield guys are such a pain. They're annoying. That like, you have to like shoot them so much, and the health hasn't even moved. 
I don't think the ghost can be interrupted. I, he couldn't in the alpha. But he might have changed. Just give me like a grenade. Lost a bit of health there. What the hell? Shot by everyone then. I think as well, every enemy's um excuse me, every class's grenade does something different. Like mine one stuns and does damage. I think I remember the warlock, I played that on the alpha. His does a puts a dot on the mobs that it hits, so it, it does them with a big load of damage. And then does damage over time. Now I don't know what this hunter does. Are getting smarter. It's like the entire system is wired to it. I'll work faster. See, I think he's just removed the layer of the lasers. So now it's this, this is the second wave. See, in the top left, this is one of three. So that's how many waves we've completed. Headshots don't matter against shielded mobs as well. I notice you just got to hit the shield at any part of it. There's no bonus damage for hitting them in the head. Take out all the little ones. Oh my god, there's so many. There's a cap there's captains oh there's a boss guy over there. What's his name? Nekus or something? Devil Baron. Alright. Let's clear all the little guys out first, then we'll take out the big boss. Big boss man. Take him out. Alright. I've got some cover right here from anyone, so I can recover some health. And then we can take out the last boss guy. Is that him over he's over there in the blue cloak? We've still got one more captain here. Punch him. He's down. Nice. So I think we've only got the um, the boss now. Let's get the shotgun out. Do some explosive damage on him. Way. Barrier is down. We can move now. We got 25 glimmer for all that. We didn't even get like a weapon or anything. Right, there's plenty of ammo on the ground. The next boss right now is going to be a massive tank. And last time I did it, it took about 45 minutes to kill it. Just because this game wasn't attuned properly. There was no way to level up and kind of like... It was like level 6 and I was like level 3 with the rest of my team. It just took forever to kill. So I'm hoping it won't take as long this time. Cut through the Fallen. Yeah. So we got to get through all the trash to get to the next boss. And this is where the boss spawns, I think. The layer is up ahead. Under that colony ship. Respawning Just restricted. The other side of Ooh. All those devils. See that thing up there? That's the tank that drops down from the ship. There we go. Just gonna do a flip off it. He's immune. Maybe he can do some damage when he's fully functional. Oh, these captains piss me off. <laughs> there we go. Do damage now. 59, 56. The legs do. The deck. Whoa! The legs receive critical damage. So it's worth going for the legs. Keep my distance and get as many shots as we can with the um, the rifle. Yeah, I think last time we did this, it was like the crits were doing like 10. I'm not even hitting it. The crits were doing like 10 damage. This time it's doing like 60 to 70. We've got one guy dead up there. Let's try and revive him. Let's hope he's not shooting me. There we go. So let's shoot his legs. I mean, you can see his health is going down really slowly. Very slowly. Probably a rocket. Whoa, a rocket launcher probably be effective right here. Look at that. Look how slow that is. Yeah, see, his legs gone. I think that took a bit of damage. Oh, his middle bit's um, open. Shoot that in the middle. What? Yeah, look at 130 damage. Nice. So when you take a leg off, a weak point is revealed underneath the red bit. That's cool. So that's the tactic, sort of fight. Shoot him in the legs and shoot his um, exposed. Middle section. Didn't stay open for long though. There we go, he's done. So, the next objective is find Sepix Prime. That's the last boss. So, has this guy got any loot? Did he drop anything around himself? It's crazy that they've got no loot on. This is only beta though, so they might, might not have added the stuff yet. You probably will add loot though to these bosses where you can probably roll for it, you know. As well, the gear in this game, it's not really class specific. It kind of like, everyone could use every piece of gear because it all does like, reduces cooldowns of different abilities for each class. It's not like, that's a tanking, that's a damage dealing for that class. You know, it's, anyone can use any gear. I 
Like this Sepix Prime. It's a big, massive ball of shit. Alright, so this fight is a... Um, it's a lot of ads like this. Then once all the ads are dead, you just focus on Sepix Prime. And then after the... After like maybe like a couple of minutes, more ads will um, spawn in by, via a airship and they'll drop in mobs. Just clear the ads again and then just kill Sepix Prime. That's as simple as it, as it gets. The weak spot on this guy is the middle of it. The, f the front middle. Like his eye. It's kind of like a big eye, isn't it? That's the back of it right now, so I'm not getting crits. So that, that's, that's the weak point right there. Okay. Can my grenade stick to it? Nope. But it did hit it. That's kind of cool. <laughs> He's stunned, actually. You can see the front of it. He's got like that little haze thing in front of him. Ow, 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 ow. I want to try out the shotgun on this guy. Because he's... There we go, there's more mobs. He's spawned in um, more ads. Okay, do I think it's important to clear these guys before you fight the boss. Just to give yourself an easier time. The shanks. So it looks like most of these fights in these um, strike missions with the bosses take about five minutes, you know. So like... It's not, it shouldn't take longer than 5 minutes, although in the alpha it took like, every boss took like 40 minutes. <laughs> I don't know if that was just the way it was in the alpha, or just I, I was really too low level. And so was everyone else in my team. I think it's good as well for as a, as a team to split yourselves, like from one in the middle, one on my side, and one on the opposite side. That way he's constantly looking at different people, and then the other people can get a chance to shoot him. Otherwise, if you're all in the same spot, you're all getting shot all the time. I'm expecting some ads soon. Last Guardian standing. Okay, I just gotta stay alive. That's easy enough. Hide like a bitch. Whoa! <laughs> some ads? No? I thought you heard the noise. There he is. I just stay outside. I think that if he shoots now, he's gonna hit the wall. So I'm quite safe here. Because it's not worth trying to revive them when, you know, there's a chance of me getting killed. I'll just let them respawn at the 30 second counter. There we go, they're both up now. I probably use a shotgun more often against this guy, but it doesn't crit. This can't crit, although this could do... Oh my god! <laughs> this could do, does do good damage, but it can't crit. I think he was doing 56 non-crits. I think with this you get like 35 crits actually. That's not that's maybe worth using it then. 50 crits, look at that. Alright, he's blasting the shit out of us over here. This guy's down, let's revive him. Does it matter how far away I am? Oh, it does less damage there, the further away they are. 46. So you may as well shoot him in the back with this gun, because it can't crit anyway. I think my shots are doing a lot of damage right there. There we go, he's gone. Whoa! <laughs> I thought that might have killed me, don't. Well done. Is that it? Sepix well Prime done. cast a great shadow over our city. With its destruction, the fallen devils will grow weaker. But we must stay vigilant. The fallen are crafty, and they'll find ways to survive. They always do. Alright, we got a full level from this dungeon then. We started level 6 fresh, and now we're at level 7. Alright, we only got like, 10 seconds. Let's just quickly look at what we just unlocked. Sp sprinting increases the leap distance of Fist of Havoc. Ah, that's cool. So you can sprint and just leap re really far. Let's chest it now. Whoa! <laughs> Didn't have enough time. Alright. And we also unlocked an ability for our scout rifle, because we used it a lot from enough shots. I actually get loot. Auto rifle, that's cool. I wanted one of them. And we've also got a pair of gloves with strength on. Sweet. Alright, let's continue. Alright, so we've done every single thing in the game for PvE. And we've completed it all. And I think that's it now, guys. For the for the beta. So you've got the moon. Yeah, that is locked. That is only there to let you know what's next after we finish on Earth. So um, I might do one PvP video or two maybe, I don't know. 
Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the beta for Destiny. Um, I will be playing the full game when it comes out in September. So make sure to check in. And I will be... I don't know what to do about the start of the game. Because I've done it twice now in Alpha and Beta. So, you know, I probably... I will record it probably. And um, just shut... You know, cut it down so it doesn't do like three missions in one video. Just to get it all out of the way so we can start new content for, for the first time. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Um, I'll, I'll see you later. Ta-ra.